keep hearing about people riding machines around here. Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find like anyone. We have company. I'm still Are you Winter. lost? Spark to steel! Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer? I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior! My savior! Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delvewares. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel, a passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body, one of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they are short a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? So this camp, it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The Delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. They've even given this place a name. Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah. I think they are. How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delve is only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched Delves of the West. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. Was there a Karja traveling with your expedition? A man by the name of Amatis? We always pick up a few travelers on the road. A Karja here, a Banuk there. Never learn their names, though. They don't stick around long. But I have a scout who might know. Likes the whole getting to know people thing. He's right over there, chatting up that Karja huntress. Don't remember her joining the Delve, either. Thanks. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by machines. So fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. Like yourself? Of course. Eventually. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. 
Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. Have I got news for you, Red? Talana. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch-black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. I'm looking into it. Much appreciated. A lot of us want to know what happened in there. Did Amada say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Ragert. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Tanakh rebels hold up in an outpost nearby need a... I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just make sure you steer clear of them. These rebels are bad business. I'll keep an eye out for them while I'm out here. How about more west? <laughs> yeah, you!
blasted. Now, seen those Tanarth riding machines? There's the entrance to the tunnel Corgif mentioned. I need to find his missing expedition and clear a path back east. Expedition. I need to find a way to get further in. Should be able to blow up that fire gleam. Someone's still alive in here. I'll give up the hunt soon enough. So you're real. Thought I was dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <clears throat> Anyone make it out and find the first caravan? Yes, someone did. Good. At least I'm not alone. Rest easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on.
that Oswald. She said they were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burners. from further in. Better get out of here quick. It looks like it lets out ahead. A rock breaker. I must have attacked the house here as they were passing through.
Theosera must have entered the canyon on the eastern side. I better take a look. Like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. The rest must have run into the western tunnel. Gotta get to the other side. I should be able to blow this up to clear the debris. Should be clear. I'm gonna let Porgif know. So, if we add all the days lost, you're back! How's that tunnel looking? I found the rest of your crew. One of them was still alive. For a while, anyway. Turns out a rockbreaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. Well, I took care of the rockbreaker. The way's clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it! And, uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Here you go. Spark in the dark! Is there nothing you can't do? Here. Your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper like. Ha! Onwards to the delve! There's one of down. But that doesn't mean I am. Got something you'll want to hear, Red. Sounds like someone's in trouble. She's gonna need some backup.
Is it safe? Did they get to it? Please be intact. Please. I should make sure she's okay. Spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I put some coils in there, and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, don't break anything.
There's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. Enduring victory. Interesting. Can't seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's... something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? I'll try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... Then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Well, well there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Soga. And when you find it, Aloy... I'd be eager to hear what it is. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. but not enough to find source yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. This will break my fall. I see you, champion. Sit, please. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Sil- I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silda's message. Stark 142 to Enduring Victory Reno. Supply drop beacon echo. Pull. 
you traced it safely. I left a note for you inside. There. Found the signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. It'll get an... Nice view if I glide down from here. Means before I can look for the source. There you are. Now, how to get to you. But I'll need to deal with these machines first.
Search for another way in. Promising? Right, into the water. this and she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message I got news for you, Red. See those Tanarth riding machines? Stop coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements 
didn't matter in the big picture. I should be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages, near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes, people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Turned out well. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> 